Hi guys, your girl here. Um, welcome to your girl. I'm your hostess for the evening. Your girl. Tonight's topic is, um, let's see, a vision from the top. And what I mean by that is some of my friends have said, you seem like you're getting a little disconnected or detached. So just for fun, I went on the internet this afternoon and I looked up, I pretended I knew nothing about American society. So I went to the most obvious thing I could think of, USA Today. And I clicked life to see what I'm missing. And I would like to read to you the top stories of the day. And here we have them. Stellar cast gives red to all its color. I don't know what that means. Photos, Emmy nominees. Okay. Fan picks for greatest superhero movie. Batman? Question mark. A fresh wind blows through the Emmys. And last but certainly not least, enter your initials here to create your own superhero name. So if I were somebody who knew nothing about American society and I were to look at this list, I would think, okay, Emmys a big deal. Superhero is a huge deal. Um, wind blowing through the Emmys, the jury's still out because we're not quite sure what that means. And I would just like to bring up the point, not to compare myself to anything in the same vein as this, but Plato, Aristotle in his book Plato talked about this, the advantages of having an outside view and he described this in his philosopher king theory which is that society could never elect the ideally best leader because they were inside the system and ideally or philosophically speaking the best leader is one who is outside on the periphery who has the bird's eye view, if you will, to see how things are actually moving around. And it's kind of a, a cool contradiction to think about, um, and one that I have kept in mind since I was first introduced to that theory in high school. And like I said, I'm not trying to in any way compare myself to that, but I do think that we do receive these unique perspectives from the outside. And as you can see in my yurt... We are up here in the mountains on the periphery, and that's a pretty cool place to be tonight. So that's all for now, and please, if you know anything about uh, the fresh wind that blew through the Emmys, um, I'm just dying to hear about it because, um, you know, going to sleep at night will be tough without, um, A, knowing my superhero name, B, knowing what red the color two means, and see, wondering what that fresh wind smelled like. Good night, and thank you.